This was what went down two weeks ago. That middle bit actually it means nothing. A trapezium, is that a kind of triangle? Isn't that, um... I'm thinking of wrong, but... <laughs> is it a triangle or is it something else? It's a trapezium. Jesus Christ! <laughs> What's a trapezium? <laughs> Okay, and that's half the time. You guys have another 10 minutes to do the open-ended questions. Okay. Right, Jess. Come on, Jess. Jess needs 200 pieces of ribbon, each of the length 110 centimetres, to decorate a room for a party. Ribbon is sold in rolls of 25 metres each. What is the least number of rolls of ribbon that Jess needs to buy? Right, how um, many centimetres in a metre? Oh, that's a question. <laughs> that's for me. 100? Um, no. Yeah. It must be because 30 centimetres a ruler. So yeah. a metre. Yeah, okay, right. So 100. So 200. So 200 times 110. 100 divided by 25. 880. Oh, meters, sorry. Okay, well then it's 88, isn't it? There's a thousand centimeters in a meter. Yeah, there's a thousand centimeters in a meter. So let's, let's change 200, 205 meters to 250 centimeters. 11,000. Centimeters in total, plus times it by two, twenty-two thousand. Yeah. So then we take divide that Wait, by I've got a calculator. What am I doing? Yeah. <laughs> Each, so divide that by two hundred and fifty. Eighty-eight. I think. So that's she right. needs eighty-eight meters. No, she needs to buy eighty-eight <laughs> rolls. Okay. Yeah, I'm going with that. <laughs> I'm sleeping on that hill. <laughs> I feel like we're completely wrong. So what? What was we on? So 200. This is two brains as well. This isn't one <laughs> child. This is two fully grown adults. One one what are you doing? times by 200. Yeah, divided by 25, divided by 1,000. So we need 22 meters worth. So we just need one <laughs> ribbon. <laughs> that doesn't feel right. I don't think that's right. Wait a second. So 200 pieces, there are 110 centimetres. One eternity later. SD, 8.8, yeah. so we need nine. Thank you. Three, oh, thank you, you, you put what? one. I'm just, you, well, let's not throw <laughs> right. shade. One machine took 17 minutes, while another took 100 minutes to print the same number of copies of a newsletter. The faster machine, Printed six more copies of the newsletter per minute than the than the slower. A. The slower machine completed the job at 1 p.m. At what time did the printing start? Huh? Okay. Right. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? The fuck? Well, another took a hundred minutes. The same number of copies. The faster machine that took 70 minutes printed six more copies. <laughs> Oh, so it's multiple choice. A slower machine completed the job at 1pm. No, that's not multiple choice. That's two part two. questions. The slower machine completed <laughs> the job. It doesn't even tell me what time the printer starts. I'm just going to make it up. Oh, at 1pm. I'm drawing the machines. So this is a good use of our time. Cool. Right. right. <laughs> One machine took 70 minutes. Well, I never took 100. Six more of the newsletter per minute. <laughs> One machine took 70 minutes, the other took 100 to print the same amount of copies of newsletter. What time did the printing start? Okay. I feel like it's one of those questions that it's like, you know, it means something and then it's like, and then yeah. work out the damage of the world. What time did it start printing? <laughs> Times 70, because it's 70 minutes that's taken, and it's doing six every minute. Oh, okay, hang on. So, 1 p.m. take away 100 minutes, so one hour, 12, and then 11, what's that, 11, 11.40. So that, that one started at 11.40, surely, because that took 100 minutes. You do six times 70, <laughs> to work out a total. What time did the printer stop? <laughs> <laughs> what brand is the printer? <laughs> what was it printing? Oh what time did the printing start? Oh, is that the first, is that the first question? Yeah. So I've done. 12.40. And then 40 minutes? No. 11.20. So a popular exam technique is to skip the question and come back for your time. Is it hot in here? <laughs> <laughs> but I did love the drawings. 
Right, what was the total number of copies printed by the two machines? Okay, we can work this out. Okay. Well, how do we work this out? <laughs> <laughs> just, so do we do 100? So 100 take away 70 is 30, isn't it? 30. So overall, that one took 30 minutes less to print the same amount. So do we do 30 times six? Because it printed six more. 180, should we just go with that because we've only got five minutes left? Let's divide that by... Six? 30, because then we know what 10 minutes is. <laughs> is that right? Six. <laughs> oh, God's sake. Should we just... <laughs> should we just make one up? 220, should we just do that? Come on, we've got... Okay. Three more questions. Okay, a bakery and a little library are 120 metres apart. They are located between Hong's house and, and Jay's house. And as shown below, the bakery is exactly halfway between the two houses. Convenient. Lucky. <laughs> One day, Hong and Jaya started cycling from their house at the same time and they arrived at the library together. Jaya cycled at 70 metres per minute. Hong cycled at 15 metres per minute. Minute faster. faster. So he's cycling at 85 metres a minute. How much further did Hong cycle in? I don't know. 25% more. 15% more. Huh? Well, the how far is the library? <laughs> the library <laughs> and the bakery. I'm really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really sorry, everyone. I'm actually five I. Five identical semicircles are arranged below. Five <laughs> diameter! <laughs> it just moved on. Yeah. Um, if not, I'm going to have to guess. Five identical well, semicircles. Well, should we guess and just hope that we get near? Because it's worth putting an answer down. That's what I was always doing. Okay, cool. Pluck an answer out of absolute thin hair. What I'm going to say, um, 32 metres, obviously. Do you think that's right? More. I'm going to go for 200. Is this actual size? I'm going to go for 1,250 metres. No, it's not to scale. It's not to scale. <laughs> 120, 120, 120. You might want a ruler for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to find how far is Jay's house from the library? Not that far. I'm going to say... Not far. <laughs> I'm going to say it's a mile. I think it's a mile. Oh, you're changing it from metres to miles. I am. Because if that's 120 metres, that's not that, oh, it's not to scale, is it? No. Okay, let's move on to the five. How, what's the time left? Four, Four minutes. Five identical semicircles are arranged as shown. Find the diameter of one circle. What's the diameter? I don't know. The length across it. Is the space in between. It's the width, isn't it? Oh, okay. Oh, you do that one, I'll do yeah. the last one. Albert and Bernard have been become friends with Cheryl. Wait, you Cheryl. should move on from this one. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that one. So I think, so that's 22 up to there. Oh, add together the whole line. It's 22 Divide it by five. Add together the whole line. No. Why are we dividing it by five? Up. Oh. Oh. I'm going to, I think right. it's a 15. What's 15? I think it's 15. Well, that's, but it's got to be more than that, because that's 22 just to there. Actually, I think it's 14.8 slash 15. I don't know what that is, but I'll write the same answer. That's what I'm going for. Yeah, Because they're all, they're all on a thingy. Actually, it's quite short. They're all on a thingy. Actually, no, I've got to double that. It's 30. Hmm. I've got to double it. <laughs> <laughs> that's a strategy. Okay, well then I'm staying with 38, because I don't, no, I don't trust you. 38? Yes, trust my process. Okay. Albert and Bernard have just become friends with Cheryl and they want to know when her birthday is. Cheryl gives them a list of 10 possible dates. There's the dates. A bit weird, isn't it? Cheryl then tells Albert and Bernard separately the month and the day of her birthday respectively. Albert, I don't know when Cheryl's birthday is, but I know that Bernard doesn't know either. Bernard, at first I didn't know when Cheryl's birthday was, but I know now. Albert, then I also know when Cheryl's birthday is. Cheryl's birthday. Ah. Oh my god, no, I love this is a maths. This is a riddle and I love it. I, I can't work that out. I can't find Cheryl and they know my birthday. Cheryl gives them a list of 10 possible dates. So they do know and it is. Yeah, but they're not saying like, they're not giving any clues. 
With is Cheryl a real person? Yes. Right, yes. I'm going to go for July 16th. May 19th it is. No way. July 16th is actually correct. You know? Okay, and that's time's up. Oh. Okay, so how did you guys find the whole process? How was it like? Ridiculously, ridiculously hard. I do not know how that is for like children. Um, I got lots of regression or trauma that I'm gonna have to now go PTSD. deal with from <laughs> my childhood maths. On a scale of one to ten, how hard do you find the paper? For a child, that's really is hard. Ridiculous. Harder than my theory test. Oh, nine. Like, yeah. I really don't get that. Like, that. if I didn't have you, I would not have answered any single one of those. I don't think I answered any single one of those. I think we've so got I, all of the right. <laughs> so I don't think I'm a reliable source here. Yeah. So, like, how long do you think you will need to, like, say, complete the whole thing? An hour. Confidently. To check it and actually, like, redo it after about an hour. Yeah. So, you're like, in the future, we want a kid to go through this. No, I just don't think how that makes my brain feel. I just think the amount of time that you spend at school, I cannot think of, not just with maths, but with like loads of things. But I can't think of things I've used it for. No, but this, this is practical, because this is like thinking about numbers. For a child to be doing this, this is how mathematicians are thinking about algorithms and how coding or software or like sat navs work. Like this is, this is insane. I think this we like should hate. change the maths learning to like tax and like being able Applicable to... things. Yes. Yeah. So I think for the MCQs, you guys did pretty well. You guys got two out of three. You guys both got one multiple choice question correct. My bad. You guys got two multiple choice questions correct. So only the first one is wrong. And then for the long questions, well, Jordan got question five right by insane luck. Is yeah. that the only... And right. that's the only one you guys got correct. Oh. You guys got half a question correct. Half Congratulations. So that would be question 2A. At what time did the printing start? It is indeed 11.20. Yes! yes. Um, I really tried for that one. Yeah. But that's it. I will, if you guys <laughs> yes. are interested, I can send you guys the answers. You guys can go, go back and look at it. It's quite interesting, some of them. We... Uh, why is this even important for children to know? How many people pass okay, so with a high level? This in? is a bit inaccurate in the sense that you wouldn't get all of these difficult questions in one Good, because I would combust. I'm about to combust. <laughs> I am gonna take the executive decision and skip that one as well. Yeah. I'm gonna circle back. To, yeah.